Nerdy Fitness with your host, Pablo Gunner, and I'm here to talk nerdy to you about fitness and nerdy stuff. And what that means is I'll go over my workout stuff, the food I ate, healthy, unhealthy, hopefully mostly healthy, and then the nerdy stuff, of course, which is music, movies, shows, video games, comics. So I'm not going to get too much into workout stuff altogether this time. I'm just going to try to keep it short. But anyways, I, I really focused on abs a lot and lifting. I was working on like lats, trying to do lats and shoulder stuff. I had seen Aquaman. I was like, I'm going to try to get into Aquaman shape. Of course, the announcement of New Mexico Comic Expo came up. So I was like, he's going to be there. So I was like, I definitely have to get into Aquamoa shape. And that's what I was trying to do. So like I said, I was doing a lot of abs and stuff like that and a lot of lifting legs as well. There's some legs in there, legs workouts. Also, I want to mention something real quick, which is something that people may or may not know. One of my buddies who's hardcore work at working out, he's really fit and stuff. And I talked to him and I told him something he had no idea, which is crazy, which is you have to be hydrated when you work out. The thing is, is your muscles, they need the water. They need the moisture when you work out and it's not even just that it's it goes further into it which is you're not supposed to eat like eat two hours before your workout that's fine or if it's like something small like oatmeal you know like an apple or something like maybe an hour but you don't want to get too close because what happens is the moisture goes to processing your food that's what your body's doing so if it's too busy processing your food you know putting the water there uh the moisture there and everything like that then it can't help your muscles as much. Same thing, you're not supposed to eat before you go to bed to at least two hours. I have a hardcore rule about that. So my wife does not follow it. She's like, oh, just eat and then go to bed. And I'm like, uh, that's how you get fat. Yeah, so he didn't know that. Hydration is super important for working out because your your muscles need the water when you do it. And, and eating is, is bad if you do it too soon before a workout because then your body's too busy with that. So yeah, I just I just wanted to throw that that out there in case you didn't know, because like I said, hardcore workout guy didn't know that those things. If you want any deets on the workouts that I did, that'll be posted on the website at TNTM the show. So make sure you go there to check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into the food that I ate, which unfortunately was a McDonald's cheeseburger. I don't know how that happened. I must have been starving because I never ever eat McDonald's and it, I, it, if I recall it was pretty nasty uh, what I had gotten like the sauce was just gross for whatever reason I also got a McChicken I don't know if that's just the 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 broiled or like the crispy I don't like the crispy uh, but the I know just like the patty is really good and then I had fish uh, rice green beans all organic breakfast burritos I'm sure that was organic too uh, turkey BLT. I don't know about that one. My wife got that me that one. Then they do this thing at work where there's these there's this guy at work that brings in these daylight donuts every Monday. And so if you work swing shift, there might be some left over. And they are the most heavenly donuts I've ever had. And so I'll have like one or two, um, you know, like as a dessert with my healthy food sometimes. Uh, and then uh, I had a Johnny Rockets burger and shake and I know that was specifically because that's where my mom wanted to go for her birthday uh, Wings chicken teriyaki vegetable rice bowl and then uh, Manzana Sorrentino snack pack Kaylin Southern and Cajun which is this amazing place in Rio Rancho. It's like a little hole in the wall uh, There's like Albertsons. It's like near high resort, you know, you just climb up the little hill there and, and there it is, but anyways, on the right. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so ham and turkey salad, and then uh, turkey, another t turkey BLT. I know the ham and turkey and the BLT, those were both for my wife. Then I had tried something new, wild Alaskan smoked salmon that they have at Costco, which it comes in two different packs. There's two of them. They are absolutely amazing. So I just eat them raw. They, they smell so good. They taste so good. It's good with like a cracker or like... Uh, bagel or bread or something like that if you want which you should only have that I think if you're doing a lot of cardio if you're doing a lot of cardio you should have something that has a lot of carbs with it otherwise just the meat which there's a lot of meat in there so there's the I mean it's a lot it's very filling to eat the whole package by yourself with nothing else 
it's very filling so it, it's tough to even eat on that i also had chicken thighs and green beans uh, schlotzky sandwich and pickles chicken meatballs which i'm sure are also from costco and then uh, eggs and sausage likes it mostly mostly healthy all right mostly organic as well and then for uh, musica of course christmas music because this was around christmas time and i also watched uh, oh i also listened to the spider-verse soundtrack because i watched that movie so i now was obsessed with it so i non-stop was listening to the spider-verse soundtrack i also listened to kendrick lamar untitled unmastered which was really solid and then for shows and movies I watched Tokyo Ghoul. My wife was like really adamant about me watching that, so I was watching it with her. I would watch it on my own and with her. It's hard to watch it on my own because I'm not usually on my own at work. So, and then, yeah. And then what, Gifted, which is the, it's like an X-Men spinoff show, which unfortunately is getting canceled, but it's been phenomenal. Then Star Wars Rebels, or not Rebels, Resistance, which I've really enjoyed. It's cheesy and it's kiddish, but I still like it quite a bit. Then Daddy's Home 2, which is also a Christmas movie I didn't realize. But yeah, and that was absolutely hilarious. I think even better than the first one, but just more not as dirty. Then Big, which is also a Christmas kind of movie. My Bloody Valentine, which was, it was alright. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which is just like these shorts about like like these cheesy western shorts and some of them are sad some of them are funny some of them are dark some of them are cheesy but yeah and then the christmas chronicles with the gosh i can't i don't remember kurt russell the guy that in mo he plays mogo and that was actually pretty good i was surprised i enjoyed it It was fun it was a good time then one of my partners wanted to watch Shaun of the dead like i said i also watched aquaman which i really really enjoyed and i liked quite a bit because they threw in a lot of comic book elements and for me that really worked and I enjoyed that. For I, I've talked to other people, and they're like, "Yeah, it was just a mishmash of stuff, and it was just constantly going, constantly moving. It was just a CGI thing." And I'm like, "Well, if you're into the comics, you enjoy it like I did, but you didn't." And then, like I said, I also watched Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which was absolutely phenomenal, and I think the best movie of the year. Yeah, I absolutely love it. It's so superb. And then for video juegos, video games, I played Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I I polished that off. Finally decided to finish it and move on. I didn't 100% it. I tried, but I just got frustrated. And then also God of War. The wife got me that, and so I started playing that. And then for comics, the best comics for the month were Black Panther, number six, which is this epic, awesome thing that's going on. Tanehisi Coates and Daniel Cunha are doing this arc, and it's absolutely phenomenal because he's lost in space, and he's lost his memory, and but he still retains some of it, like... And then he's trying to get his memories back, and he's trying to regather all these things. And like, uh, I think Killmonger has taken over as the king, and he's but he has like the symbiote with it, and it's just crazy and epic, and it's n absolutely nuts and phenomenal. And then Star Wars Fifty Eight, which was really great because you have Luke, and he's kind of like flirting with the daughter of this like clan tribesman dude that's also training him how to be a better fighter, which is really cool. And so it's it's weird. And then Miles Morales got a re-release. Saladin Ahmed on it. Absolutely loved it. Superb. I love Miles Morales, especially when they inject all the Hispanic stuff in there. You know, so that you really see that he is uh, that he's Hispanic and black. Yeah, it's it's really great. And, and I love that. I mean, I love both sides of him, of course. But it seems like they don't really focus too much on the Hispanic side. Uh, and then there was Batman Annual Three, which, if I recall correctly. This one was like shorts, but it was mostly about Batman taking care of Alfred, which was really touching and loving. And then cover number four, which cover has been great this whole time, and it's essentially Bendis and Mac, and Bendis has turned Mac into a comic book character where he it goes to conventions and he draws covers, but he also has this story that he does, and then this lady, uh, she m turns him into a spy and sends him to these conventions to different countries, and then tries to get other people onto her side and stuff, and it's really crazy, because I think for this one, he got into it with this dude, like this one dude beat him up, and he was like talking trash about his comic, like, he was like, well, I love your art, but your stories are trash, you know, he's like, uh, you know, and, and this, and this legendary artist wouldn't do something like this. So it was really great. TMNT 89 was really touching and loving because 
it was a Christmas issue, and the family has been split up because Splinter has taken over the Foot Clan and he's gone this down this dark path. This one brought them all back together, and it was just it was so beautiful, and I love the way it was done, and it was really really great, and and I it just absolutely phenomenal, and and also I love the idea too of they had Splinter and he dresses up as Santa, and I love like the parents actually buying into that idea of you know I'm gonna dress up as Santa Claus. Because when they find out the truth, then it's not a lie because it's like, yeah, I'm Santa. I've been in the suit the whole time. Like, if you didn't recognize me, whatever. But it's it's never like you're not lying to your kid, really, you know, because you've always been doing this for them. And I, I don't know. I find something really nice in that because I don't like the idea of lying even to your kids. Uh, I mean, I don't have any kids, but I, I just don't like to lie. Uh, and then Un Uncanny X-Men and Un Uncanny X-Force were the last comics to come out for the last week of December. So they, of, of course, had to be the best. And and the, But they actually were really solid because Un Uncanny X-Men had like the, the, the new kids, kind of like the new X-Men, and but it was them in the apocalypse world and it was them like dark... And like awesome and like their full potential and it was really crazy and really awesome. And then X Force is X Force and they have New Kid Cable and stuff and Domino and it's 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 just really awesome and they're you know wrapping up a loose end from from another from the exterminated story arc. Really great. I also did I went snowboarding. I went snowboarding with my hermano, which is my brother, because it was his birthday, and so we went and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna pay for him for his pass. Turned out he has a he already has he has a season pass, so but he had lost his goggles or wanted some goggles, so I got him some goggles on the way there and stuff. And so we had an absolutely blast. Well, it was great because the first run, like I was just doing the kid. We both of us were just warming up with the kid uh, lanes or 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 whatever the lift, the kid lift, and then coming down that way, you know, just warming up because it'd been years since I had snowboarded. It was a blast, but we were se we were separated because my brother he's more advanced than me. But like once I got warmed up. And we, we didn't like being separated, so we're like, you know, we're going to go together on the same lift, we're going to go on more difficult ones, and that's what we did. And we had a, such a blast, it was so much fun, it was so great. And then we made a huge mistake by accidentally going down some black diamonds, and we had a miserable time on our last run, and both of us got really messed up. Like, I messed up my wrists pretty bad, my my ass and my back, and so yeah, there was, there was a lot of falls on that last one. We were like, you know what, we're done, we shouldn't have done that one, and so we went home, but it was an absolutely phenomenal blast and I'm glad my brother had a great time for his birthday uh and it was also uh, my mom's birthday so yeah it was it was it was just a great time like I said we went to Johnny Rockets and, and had a great time and I do this cheesy thing for like for my mom especially I did this cheesy thing where I was like it kind of like Thanksgiving where I was like all right everybody say you know why they're grateful to have her in our lives you know and everything like that and so Every, I made everyone do that going around the table. So, you know, I, I think I, I think it's important to appreciate people for their birthdays so that they know, especially on that day. I mean, you should tell them every day, but especially on that day, tell them why you like having them in your life and stuff. So, and of course it was Christmas time. So that was wonderful and that was great. And that was fantastic. That's it for me. I want to know what you got for Christmas, what you do for, you know, the winter months, you know, any physical activity. If you go snowboarding or what you do if you stay inside and play video games and read comics, because that's what I like to do. But snowboarding is one of the activities that I like doing outside. I want to know what you do. And that's it for me. So stay fit, stay healthy, love and peace. Fuck the ones, gotta call them for the seventh time. So sincere. American, fight for the rights. Fuck, my nigga, we can go back right now. Fuck, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of fucking running. I'm tired of this shit. My brother, huh?